Hello, Hello everybody. We're, we're Moss, Moss Charmley. Charmley. <laughs> All right, and today we're going to show you how to trace in Krita using the reference images tool. Mm -hmm. Really handy to trace in Krita. So, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there are definitely some steps to take first, and the first one would be prep your artwork. You want to really make sure that you have good lighting and you could take a good photograph of it or you scan it. But really take your time and make sure you get just the right image for you because you want to just, you know, have a good reference. So next up, open Krita <laughs> <laughs> and create a new image. So that'll mm -hmm. be a good start. <laughs> so start, make sure your DPI is the way you want. Yeah. And your image is the way you'd like. Yeah. So that's and here important. you are. <laughs> yeah. um, we definitely will talk about like what to use and it's going to be, you know, the image reference tool. So it it's looks... that little thumbtack yeah. right there that you can see. And you press plus and it's going to open up a file manager. So Which is the add reference image kind of yeah. button. And yeah. here we made a Krita reference kind of folder. Mm -hmm. So it really helped us out. So you just click one of the pictures that you put in yeah. and there you go. <laughs> yeah. Organization is really important because it'll save you time in the end. So yeah. Yeah. And here we're going to zoom out because once you put the image in, it's usually really big. Mm -hmm. So we're going to zoom out of yeah. the image and, and then the overview Docker. Yes. And now you can see how big it is. Yeah. And now we're going to go um, up and then we're going to um, change the opacity. In the in the Docker for mm -hmm. that the tool options the tool Docker, options Docker. Yeah. and then adjust, you can adjust the the tracing image that you have yeah. in the size. So just use it with those little nodes on on each corner, and you can twist it, move it around. Yeah, place it wherever you want it on on the image. So yeah, it's kind of cool. So it's kind of neat. And you can just grab the whole thing like this and move it around. Place it wherever you'd want. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> and after this, you definitely want to make sure that you're using the brush tool. So you know, yeah. that's something you want to know. So to yeah. start tracing, toggle mm -hmm. to the brush tool. Yeah. And then you can uh, go into your regular layers mm -hmm. and create a new create layer, a new layer. Or, or just use on the layer. Yeah. So here we're going to rename a layer. And what's great about this, the Krita's reference imaging tool, that the, none of this will affect your actual layers. Of your actual image. Of the actual image. So it's kind of go. like a part of the actual image you're painting or drawing but it does not have anything to do with the layers. So it's kind of a neat little effect that it does. So, mm -hmm. so you can get busy tracing, you know, <laughs> or inking over, you know, what you've done. Because if you've done some sketches in a sketchbook, you can just start inking over it. If yeah. you prefer pencil or pa paint, that's kind of all up to you. There's definitely another little tip we wanted to talk about, and that's toggling, you know, the viewability of your reference image, you know, sort of making it invisible so you can see it or not. Yeah, you know? so you could do that by turning uh, down the opacity to mm -hmm. zero yeah. or uh, putting it back up to see it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that is a good way to do it. Or you can toggle, uh, toggle it off on the taskbar by going to view and then show reference images and then clicking that off. Yeah. And then you won't see it anymore. Nope. And then you can go back to your brush tool and then do your thing Paint again away, if you want. Yeah. And then if you want to see it again, go back to view, go to show reference images. Make click sure that, that's checked. And make Definitely. sure it's checked. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just to make sure. So, well, this is basically um, our tutorial on how to trace using Krita. We hope this helps. Um, this can be used in so many different ways if you're painting. I mean, just for example, if you have photographs and you want to create, you know, an image with specific skylines or clouds or skies or trees or so on and so forth. You know, honestly, it's whatever any, anybody would want to do, you know, just when it comes to tracing an image to use it as a reference. You know, this is a really great way to use it in Krita, you know, this is a great tool to use for tracing, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and we go into it much more in depth in a, in a separate video that we have, which shows way more things of, of what you can do with uh, the the tool image for a reference images tool yeah. and it's really cool because you could flip the image you could do a lot more things with it so yeah, you could desaturate yeah. the image black and white yes right yeah it's and it's we a show, we comprehensive little it yeah, is. tool so we yeah. explain more of what all the buttons can do <laughs> yeah exactly exactly and how they can save your images yeah a part of your file if you want you can save them you know sort of like that path in your you know as a folder path or you know that kind of thing so yeah you know you might want to check that video too Right. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. Well, we hope this helps. Yeah. You know, and 
Right? Yeah, have yeah. fun creating great art. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the point. Yeah. Right? Right? So, yeah. Most <laughs> Most out. Okay. Have a great day, everybody.